Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and uh, this is going to be some additional modifications in our Netflix clone Maui app. So I have already recorded everything and then there was one comment who asked about uh, showing this, this basically hiding this status bar and this app, this main banner, it should cover this status bar as well. So I actually missed this in this uh, Netflix clone series. So I thought let's create an additional video for this. So that's what we are going to do in this video. And I'm going to do one more thing because uh, I thought let's add one more functionality to the app. So if we go to the detail page and we see these trailers and more more videos. So in this video, we are going to change this uh this video with the video we click on right so we have trailers and more videos if we click on any of this video it should load up in this web view and we should be able to play this video these two things we are going to do in this video so let's get started first thing we need to make this app full screen so we don't want the status bar to be visible over our app so for that we need to go to platform android and main activity and in main activity we are going to override one method that is on create method and in this we will simply set one flag to the window object so we have this window property and here we can add flags and the flag we are looking for that is uh, full screen window manager flag dot full screen this is the flag we are looking for and now if we save it rebuild and apply changes so app is coming up and yes now we can see there is no status bar so our app it is uh, drawn over that, uh, that status bar right so we can check it we can go to the detail page there also we will see this thing so that is how you could make the android app full screen and now the second uh, thing we are going to do in this video let's go to the detail page and right now it is on this main trail it is running and now if we click on any of this it should open this trailer in this youtube video or that particular video so for that let's go to our details page.xaml let's find that that is going to be in this videos collection view this one okay we are going to use this thing in this data template we are going to do this and let's copy this gesture recognizer from the this more like this section and let's add it here inside this grid and instead of border it should be grid because we are adding it to grid fine and now we need to have a command on our view model so let's go to our view model we have this let's create one more command so this video this comes from this main trailer url right uh, this main trailer url we can generate this using this generate youtube url helper method so let's copy this line and create a method so private void and let's say set main trailer and we are going to do this thing in here and this trailer key so let's accept one parameter string uh, let's say video key video key 
and let's use this to generate the YouTube URL. And we need to make it command using relay command attribute. Fine. Now we can use this command. So let's go to our XAML and instead of this change to this media, we'll use set main trailer command and it accepts a parameter of that key. So we have that as a key property in our uh, this video model, video class. So now it should work. Let's rerun the app. The app is here. Let's go to the detail page. And this is the main trailer. And let's try this teaser. We clicked on it. And it should work. Yeah, the video changed. So when we are changing the video, uh, so there was no UI indication that something has changed. So let's do that also. So when we click on any of this, it should scroll to the top to display the, this web view. So for that, uh, let's do this in our code behind only this details page xaml.cs. It is, let's not make it as a part of uh, view model. Let's first thing, let's name this scroll view so that we can access it in C sharp side. So X name, let's say main scroll view. or page scroll view. You could name it whatever you want. Copy, continue editing and we'll add to this tap gesture recognizer is after these commands, we will add this tapped event as well. So this event is going to work uh, to scroll and the command is going to work to change the uh, YouTube video basically, video URL. So for this, here we'll access this page scroll view and then we'll use one method that is scroll to async method. It expects X, Y and animated property. So X is going to be zero because we are not using X in this case, but still this is horizontal scroll bar, but we don't, we are not using horizontal scroll, but that is fine. Y is the vertical scroll, which we need. So we'll set it zero to scroll it to the very top. And then third is animated. So we'll set it to true so that we can see the little animation behavior. And this is an async method. So let's add async and await. And now we should be good. Let's rebuild and apply changes. App is here. Let's see if it is working. Let's go to detail page. And we are on detail page. This is Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse main trailer. Now, if we change, let's use this 0.6 video. We clicked on it. It scrolled to the top and video got changed to this new video. Let's play it. Let's try another masterpiece 15 let's try this one we clicked on it it scrolled to the top it changed the video so the functionality is working as expected okay so that's it for this video if you didn't check out the complete video series i'm going to link that in the description box and in i box so you can go there and check the complete series and i have uh, uploaded a video by merging all these part so it was a 11 part series 11 and then i merged it in a single video so you could check that video out if you want to uh, 
see how we make made this app in a single video without any break so you could use that video also i'm going to link that video in description as well so that's it for this video please like this video share this video and subscribe my channel i'll be back with another video bye bye